Lin Guang, you and Rong Rong Lang are talented women. After you get married, you will definitely be happy. Rong Rong doesn't know where the blessing is, she can actually climb up to your saver's house, but we grew up watching Rong Rong, so you can't bully Rong Rong in the future. Lin Guang is so sensible, it's too late to hurt Rong Rong. How could he bully Rong Rong? Your wedding must be well known throughout the city and make everyone happy. Chu Ling Guang sat at the home of his girlfriend Chen Rong, and Chen Rong's relatives were all around him, one by one, full of enthusiasm and respect. Being able to marry Rong Rong is the blessing that Chu Ling Guang has cultivated for eight lifetimes. I will definitely not let everyone down. Chu Ling Guang shook Chen Rong's hand and said loudly, I believe you will not treat my daughter badly, and of course my future father-in-law. Chen Chunming laughed and poured a cup of tea for Chu Ling Guang, and his eyes were full of greed. Now everyone in Zhangchuan City knows that Chu Ling Guang's sister is about to marry Ye Chen, the god of war of the southern territories. Chu Ling Guang is the brother-in-law of the god of war. As Chu Ling Guang's old husband, he can be regarded as the half-in-law of the god of war. Whenever thinking of this, Chen Chunming and a bunch of relatives around him laughed from ear to ear. I really love Chu Ling Guang, and I want to replace Chen Rong and marry Chu Ling Guang. Definitely certain. Chu Ling Guang nodded again and again, and he was also proud of having a brother-in-law, the of war. Seeing Chen Chunming pour him tea, he just reached out to pick it up. Suddenly a piece of yellow paper fell out of his pocket, and Chu Ling Guang bent over to pick it up. This yellow paper was stuffed to him by a strange old man on the road, saying what heir to all agreement was with his name on it. The old man said that as long as he presses his handprint next to his name, this heir to all agreement, it will take effect automatically. He can inherit all kinds of things he wants. Chu Ling Guang didn't believe it at all. The reason why I still kept the yellow paper was that after I went back, I wanted to figure out who the old man was and dare to tease him. This station interrupted an update. The southern war god Ye Chen retired from Chu Zinyu. Chu Zinyu couldn't stand the blow. She jumped down from the 20th floor and was just sent to the city hospital. His life and death are unknown. At the same time, the Ye family declared that Ye Chen, god of war, will hold an engagement ceremony with the Zhao family daughter in the province in the near future. Suddenly, the TV news in the hall interrupted such a news. In an instant, the needle dropped can be heard. The hall was terribly quiet. The tea that Chen Chunming wanted to pass to Chu Ling Guang was also hanging in the air. Ye Chen has retired. I don't know who said such a sentence. Puff. In the next moment, Chen Chunming will serve Chu Ling Guang's tea and splash it directly on Chu Ling Guang's face. Keep away, take the alcohol and tobacco back, don't come to my house again. He lifted Chu Ling Guang up from the chair and pushed to the door. Chen Rong also let go of Chu Ling Guang's hand. I've said it a long time ago, how can someone look at the girl of a small family with a dignified southern territory god of war? In the end, it was all in vain. I thought I could get in touch with the in-laws of the god of war. Chu Ling Guang is all because you made us work in vain, you have to compensate us. Because I said so many good things before, it turns out that the god of war can't look down on you at all, I'm. The seven ants and eight ants of the Chen family who had originally surrounded Chu Ling Guang to show their affection, turned their faces on the spot one by one, and even spit on Chu Ling Guang. It's impossible. Big brother Ye can't retire, and my sister can't commit suicide either. Chu Ling Guang only felt like a bolt from the blue sky his face turned pale, and it took a long time to come back to his senses. This is being reported in the news now. Just accept your fate and get out of here. Molly, Chen Rong's mother, came over and shoved. Take all these things back and don't ruin my daughter's reputation. From now on, my daughter will have nothing to do with you. Chen Chunming threw all the tobacco and alcohol that Chu Ling Guang had brought to the door, pushing Chu Ling Guang towards the door. Chu Ling Guang was pushed to the door and couldn't help looking at Chen Rong, 
thinking that Chen Rong would protect him. Unexpectedly, Chen Rong stared at him with extremely hateful eyes at this moment, letting her parents and relatives continue to insult him. Sister, you can't do anything. Chu Ling Guang's mind was muddy, and finally he remembered his sister, and could not care about anything else. He let the tobacco and alcohol fall to the ground, turned around and ran out, and hurried to the city hospital. As soon as he arrived at the city hospital, Chu Ling Guang saw the aunt and family swearing at the entrance of the hospital. It's really a money loser. What else did you say before, how much Ye Chen likes her, and I will marry her this year, which made me take care of their family all these years. The aunt spit on the ground fiercely. It deserves it. Damn it. Uncle gritted his teeth. I heard from my grandmother that there have been several families that have terminated their cooperation with us, and even have to make claims. The cousin stamped his feet with anger. Where is my sister? Chu Ling Guang rushed over and shouted. Your sister is going to be sent to the morgue. The eldest mother saw Chu Ling Guang and was even more angry. You. Chu Ling Guang was trembling with anger, and he didn't think that the aunt, who used to be so cold and inquisitive to him before, was so acrimonious at this moment. Anxious to see her sister, Chu Ling Guang didn't stop, ran into the hospital quickly, ran, and the yellow paper agreement in his pocket was about to fall out again. Doctor, please save my daughter. My daughter is only in her twenties. He is still young and can't die. My daughter is still breathing, she must be rescued. At the door of the operating room, Chu Zinya was bloody, lying motionless on the bed. Chu Ling Guang's parents knelt in front of a bald doctor, pulling his trousers and screaming. Your daughter, her injury is too serious and she has no abilities to return to the sky. I advise you to hurry up and deal with the funeral. The bald doctor said indifferently. As a doctor, how can you say such a thing? After looking around, Chu Ling Guang finally found this place. I found that I was lying on the bed, covered in blood stains, dying. I really loved my sister since I was a child. I couldn't help but fainted. What I'm talking about is the fact that your sister is already hopeless, and there is no way for the gods to come. The bald doctor didn't even consider the feelings of Chu Ling Guang and his family. Chu Ling Guang gritted his teeth, he knew the doctor in front of him, called Song Jinyang. I had a small cold before. My sister took him to the hospital and learned that her sister was the fiancé of Ye Chen, the of war in the southern territory, and treated him meticulously. At the moment Ye Chen retired, their family and god of war were no longer related, so they changed another face. Chu Lin hated it. Hate yourself for incompetence. Hate Ye Chen's treachery. I hate everyone here for indifference and ruthlessness. At this moment, the yellow paper that was about to fall out of his pocket fell out and just fell on the palm of his hand. Chu Ling Guang couldn't help but clenched his fists. He wanted to crush this yellow paper into pieces and use it as an object of venting. He never thought that his thumb was just on the position of the fingerprint. The heir of everything agreement, signed, heir, Chu Ling Guang. Following a voice, rang in Chu Ling Guang's mind, he saw the yellow paper appearing in his mind, and then it turned into a whirlpool. From then on, the master is the heir to all things, and I will screen all kinds of things for the master, so that the master can stand out in the world. The whirlpool could even spit out. What the hell? Chu Ling Guang thought he had hallucinations. It is detected that the owner's relatives are worried about their lives, and the master chooses Shen Nong Baidai in medical skills. Does the owner inherit it? The whirlpool said again. I, inherit. Chu Ling Guang hadn't fully recovered yet, with a dull expression on his face. Congratulations to the master for inheriting the Shen Nong Baidai in boom. While speaking, a book was spit out from the whirlpool. The four words Shen Nong Baidian are written on it. At the moment this book appeared, Chu Ling Guang's consciousness roared, and the whole person seemed to have absorbed all the knowledge of this book. Elder Sister When looking at Chu Zinyu on the bed, 
Chu Ling Guang could only see through his sister's injury, knowing where the injury was, and knowing how to treat it even more. All this only happened in a flash, and no one else noticed. I am. Chu Ling Guang was a little confused. Send to the morgue. Don't get stuck here, wait for other patients to have surgery. Song Jinyang thought that Chu Ling Guang was speechless. Who said my sister can't save it, you can't save it, I can save it. Chu Ling Guang stopped and quickly pushed Chu Zinyu into the operating room without waiting for other reactions. Don't do stupid things. He is the god of war of the southern territories. He is a high-ranking man. We can't beat him. We can only accept our fate. Chu Zinyu was startled by Chu Ling Guang's words, she didn't want her brother to be hurt. I don't care what god of war he is, and dare to humiliate my sister. I will definitely make him regret it. Chu Ling Guang said with indignation. My elder sister knows what you want, you remember what your elder sister said, and you must not mess around. Chu Zinyu sat up and touched Chu Ling Guang's face. Well, my sister has to promise me that I can't do stupid things anymore. Chu Ling Guang nodded, he was worried that Chu Zinyu would still be unable to think about it. But this grudge must be reported. Ye Chen could just break off the marriage, but he couldn't humiliate her sister, so that his sister almost lost her life. Retirement and humiliation are two different things. I have died for him once, I won't be so stupid. Chu Zinyu said with a strong smile. Sister, believe me, I will find you a man a hundred times better than Ye Chen to be my brother-in-law. Ye Chen is the god of war in the south, so I will go to the god of war in the north. In order to prevent you from being bullied, I will let him join our family and become the son-in-law. Chu Ling Guang feels distressed, how kind of a person Chu Zinyu is, how can he be bullied? Puff, um, sister knows you love me the most. Chu Zinyu couldn't help laughing out loud, Ning Xian Yuan, the of war in the north, was a of war even better than Ye Chen, how could people look at her, not to mention that she had just been retired by Ye Chen. She didn't take Chu Ling Guang's words to heart, but there was a warmth in her heart, and she regretted her previous behavior. Chu Ling Guang secretly made up his mind and set a goal. Didn't Ye Chen marry the daughter of a big family? Then he would let the northern war god Ning Xian Yuan be the son-in-law of their Chu family on the same day that Ye Chen held his wedding. Chu Ling Guang didn't dare to have this idea before. But now he is the heir to everything and Chu Ling Guang is extremely confident and determined. He wanted to ask for justice for his sister, let her sister get married, and even let Ye Chen face scandal. Dr. Song is really amazing. Anyone who jumped from the 20th floor can be saved. Dr. Song is the reincarnation genius doctor, Hua Tuo in the current life. There is a genius doctor like Dr. Song in the city hospital. I am afraid that no one will die anymore in the future. There was a lot of noise outside the ward. I saw Song Jinyang enter the ward surrounded by a group of people. With a smug on his face, under the compliments of everyone, he came to Chu Ling Guang in front of the two. Seeing Chu Zinyu, who was about to die, was able to sit up and talk at this moment, like a okay person, he was secretly frightened, but said, Well, Miss Chu, after my treatment, you are all right. Take some nutrient solution, take a good rest for a few days, and you can be discharged from the hospital. But I can't do stupid things anymore. I can save you once, but it doesn't mean that I can save you a second or third time. In the end, he persuaded and warned in the tone of an elder. Thank you, Dr. Song, if it weren't for you. When Chu Zinyu heard the words, and then listened to the people's comments, she instinctively thought that Song Jinyang really saved her, and hurriedly thanked her. Sister, this Song is not a good person. I saved you. He just yelled to push you to the morgue. Chu Ling Guang interrupted Chu Zinyu, talking about this matter, he was upset. Humph, am I a doctor, or are you a doctor? I have long heard that the people of the Chu family are ungrateful, and your sister is stealing people behind her back. Now you are turning black and white again, 
saying what you saved your sister to take away all my credit, it is at the expense of God of War to draw a clear line with your family in time. When Song Jinyang heard this, his face was not red, his heart was not beating, and he sneered. Hearing these words, the people behind him couldn't help but point and nod their heads frequently, looking at Chu Zinyu's eyes, extremely disgusted. You wanna die? Chu Ling Guang was furious, he finally calmed down his sister, this Song Jinyang even dared to stimulate her sister. Xiao Guang, don't, I'm sorry, Dr. Song, my brother is ignorant. Chu Zinyu grabbed Chu Ling Guang and hurriedly apologized. After she died once, she clearly realized that after losing Ye Chen's asylum, their family could only be cautious in the future. Humph! Song Jinyang snorted coldly, and he became more interested. Dr. Song, Master Su's granddaughter, slipped and fell downstairs. The first hospital was at a loss. Master Su learned that you can save anyone who committed suicide by jumping off the building, so he sent someone to invite you over. Song Jinyang's assistant rushed in and said happily. What? Song Jinyang's expression changed. Dr. Song, Master Su would like to come with us. At this time, two black clothed figures appeared, and before Song Jinyang could say anything, they took Song Jinyang away. Everyone got out of the way. Chu Zinyu sighed and said, He is the attending doctor. Even people like Master Su will come to invite him. Remember not to provoke him in the future. She really thought it was Song Jinyang who rescued her. After all, Chu Ling Guang hasn't graduated from university, let alone the slightest medical foundation, how to save her. I hope he can save Master Su's granddaughter. Chu Ling Guang sneered. My dear girl, you finally woke up. At this time, Mother Chu came in with a can of tonic soup. Seeing her daughter had woken up, she couldn't help sitting on the bedside, wiping tears. Your mother and I are both old. Don't scare us anymore. This time, Xiao Wang saved you. You won't be so lucky next time. Chu's father couldn't bear to blame Chu Zinyu, he knew how much this incident had hit Chu Zinyu. Dad, Mom, I'm sorry, I won't do stupid things anymore, but Dad, you just said Xiao Guang saved me, not Dr. Song. Chu Zinyu found the problem. The surname Song learned that you committed suicide by jumping off the building because you were retired by Ye Chen. When you still had a breath, he wanted to send you to the morgue. If it weren't for your brother, you would have been dead. Speaking of this matter, Chu's father gritted his teeth. He couldn't help asking, by the way, Xiao Guang, your sister was injured so badly before, and your mother and I were prepared for the worst. How can your sister sit up and talk as soon as you take action? I like to read extracurricular books. It happened to be on one book. I saw how to deal with serious injuries from a fall. I didn't expect it to work. I actually saved my sister. Chu Ling Guang scratched his head and explained that he had already thought about this excuse. It's also fortunate, but this time it's a coincidence, or it may be the virtue of the ancestors. In the future, you can't do anything to save people. If you mess it up, you will easily get into trouble. Father Chu didn't think much about it. Too many things happened today and he was very tired. Do do do. At this moment, Chu's father's cell phone rang. Chu Ling Guang glanced at the caller ID and found that it was his grandmother who was calling, thinking that his sister had been in trouble for so long, and that grandma had only called up until now, and he didn't come to look at it. He was suffocated. It's just that the voice that came after the call made him almost mad. Tian Jiang, you guys come back quickly and move all your things. I want to take back the ancestral house. In addition, Zinyu's dead girl, I have drawn out the genealogy, you can find a place to bury it, and her tablet can't be entered. Ancestral Hall Mrs. Chu's voice is indifferent and unforgiving. Chu Ling Guang and Chu Zinyu are no strangers to this man and woman. The female is called Zhang Kaiyuan. It was Chu Zinyu's college classmate, 
who was jealous that Chu Xinya was more prettier than her. When she was in school, she had always run Chu Xinyu. Later, when she learned that Chu Xinyu was Ye Chen's fiancé, she disappeared completely, and she no longer dared to be presumptuous. As for the man, it was her boyfriend named Song Yu Hang. He is a rich second generation. He had pursued Chu Xinyu before. After learning about the relationship between Ye Chen and Chu Xinyu, he also ran away in an instant, and finally got involved with Zhang Kaiyuan. Don't pay attention to them, let's go. Chu Xinyu knew Zhang Kaiyuan's disposition, and when she met her this time, it was absolutely indispensable to ridicule her. In order not to add obstacles to her family, she took her mother's hand and turned away. Hey, don't go. Anyway, everyone is a classmate. I can take you home without a car. I can take you home. Zhang Kaihuan stopped Chu Xinyu and said with a smile. Really? Our family, can you sit in your car? Chu Tian is strong and happy, his daughter hasn't recovered yet. If he goes out all the way, he may be hurt again. If you can't sit down, you can just send my daughter and son back, and we can walk back on foot. Mother Chu said with a grateful expression. My car is a big Ben RV no matter how many people can sit down. Song Yuhang took out the car key to show his way. Will you be so kind? Chu Ling Guang frowned, Zhang Kaihuan and Song Yuhang, in his opinion, did not look like good people. It's just to send you back on the way, it's nothing, it's just. Zhang Kaihuan fiddled with her hair and paused deliberately. Just what? Chu Zinyu knew there must be conditions. It's just that your reputation is not very good right now. If you let you go back in my boyfriend's RV, I'm afraid that people will make irresponsible remarks. But for a classmate, I can't die without saving, so let's do it. After getting in the car, the four of you squatted together. I found a piece of cloth to cover you so that no one would know that you have been in my boyfriend's RV. Zhang Kaihuan covered her mouth and said. You are shameless. Chu Xinyu had long thought that Zhang Kaihuan was not so kind, but she didn't expect to be so humiliating. Keep your mouth clean. My RV is worth millions. Just let you sit in. If the price drops, can you afford it? Song Yuhang coldly snorted. Is it great to have an RV? Chu Lin clenched his fists with anger, Zhang Kaihuan and Song Yuhang were too bullying. Yes, it's great to have an RV. Do you have one? Song Yuhang sneered, not forgetting to shake the car key in his hand again. It is detected that the owner needs an RV. There is a world-class Big Ben RV here. Does the owner inherit it? At the critical moment, the whirlpool made a sound again. I inherit. Chu Ling Guang's eyes lit up and said quickly in his heart. Congratulations to the host for inheriting one of the world's top De Ben RVs. The whirlpool had just finished speaking, and in the next moment, Chu Ling Guang felt that there was a bunch of car keys in his pocket, and there was also a top level Big Ben RV in the open air parking lot at the entrance of the hospital. Chu Ling Guang's eyes were bright, the inheritance of all things is really timely rain, whatever he wants. Wow! Yu Hang, can't you think of the RV that your dad bought for you, is it so luxurious? It's too domineering. Too punctual. I love you so much. As soon as Chu Ling Guang was about to say something, he was interrupted by Zhang Kaihuan's scream. As soon as the top level de Ben RV appeared, Zhang Kaihuan was instantly attracted by the top level de Ben RV. Seeing that the RV key in Song Yuhang's hand was also the de Ben RV key, she instinctively thought that this top de Ben RV was Song Yuhang's RV. Dancing with excitement. Hastily ran over. And quickly took out his mobile phone and took a slap on the top of the big Ben. Or leaning against the front of the car. Or stand on the wheel. Or snuggle on the front cover of the car. He kept holding up his scissor hands, or pouting his mouth to be cute, taking a selfie, and pressing the shutter madly. Click. 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 In just a few blinks, 
she snapped a dozen selfies. Then quickly take these selfies to form a picture of the nine palaces, and send them to the circle of friends to show off. Title, Boyfriend's New RV, Dears. I'll show you the interior of the RV later. After doing all this, she ran back again, put her arms around Song Yu Hang, and nestled on Song Yu Hang's arm. He whispered, Oh, Yu Hang, you hate it. There is such a luxurious RV, so I don't tell people in advance, so I have a heart to prepare. Uh, ha ha ha, isn't it just an RV? What's the big deal, I don't take it seriously at all. Song Yu Hang's face was stiff and the top of Elda Ben RV that did not know where it came out was also blinding him. Compared with this top of Elda Ben RV, his own $1 million RV is just one. An ordinary van. Of course, in front of Chu Ling Guang and the others, how could he show his stuff, deliberately put on an indifferent expression? However, his words made Zhang Kaihuian more convinced that it belonged to Song Yuhang's RV, and she couldn't help but say more meanly and proudly, your family has a big business. Buying a RV like this is of course not a matter of course, unlike some people. I'm afraid I'll never have the opportunity to ride in such a RV once in my life and see the interior of such a RV once. Before at school, Chu Zinyu overshadowed her in both her appearance and academic performance. Later, she was blessed by Ye Chen, and it was even more prosperous. Zhang Kaihuan was very jealous in her heart. Now that Chu Zinya was retired by Ye Chen, she had to show off what she said, raising her eyebrows. Dad, Mom, let's go back quickly. Chu Zinya took a deep breath. She didn't have to think about what Zhang Kaihuan wanted to do next. Hey, don't go, I haven't seen the interior of the caravan yet. Zhang Kaihuan stopped. I'm not interested. Chu Zinya said angrily. Sister. We are not in a hurry anyway. Since she wants to show us the interior of the RV, let's take a look. Anyway, nothing has been lost. Chu Ling Guang said suddenly. He really didn't expect that Zhang Kaihuan would treat the world's top Big Ben RV he inherited as Song Yuhang's RV, show off in front of them and humiliate his sister. You, you have to see for yourself. Chu Zinyu became more angry. Didn't Chu Ling Guang see that Zhang Kaihuan was deliberately humiliating them? Chu Ling Guang took Chu Zinyu's hand, motioned to wait, and smiled at Zhang Kaihuan and Song Yu Hang, I have never seen such a luxurious and domineering RV when I grow up. It's really a bun, Yu Hang opened the door to let them see and see. Zhang Kaihuan didn't expect Chu Ling Guang to be so unbearable and even more excited. This, my RV is so expensive. How can I let them watch it casually? Song Yuhang didn't expect that Chu Ling Guang really wanted to look at the interior scene and couldn't help pretending to be superficial. Are you reluctant to show it to us, or can't show it to us? Chu Ling Guang sneered. What are you talking about? Song Yuhang was panicked. Seeing this, Chu Zinyu seemed to be aware of something and said, In that case, why not open the car door and let us go in and take a look? I really want to see and see. If you want to see it, I will show you enough, Yu Hang, quickly open the door. I want to take a picture of the interior and show it to my friend. Zhang Kaihuan hasn't noticed the problem yet, but saw many friends in the circle of friends commenting and chasing after wanting to see the interior scene. This. Song Yu Hang's face looked like pig liver. What's the matter, why don't you open the door and let us see and see? What are you hesitating? Chu Ling Guang issued a soul torture. You, if you let me open it, I'll open it. What are you? Song Yu Hang said with a strong face. Yu Hang, show them, it's nothing. Zhang Kaihuan wanted to show off in front of Chu Zinyu. You haven't seen it yet. Isn't this top off He Line RV not your boyfriend's? Chu Ling Guang poured cold water on Zhang Kaihuan. You are talking nonsense. Zhang Kaihuan said angrily. Song Yuhang was uncomfortable and concealed as if he had been seen through a trick. Then you use his key to see if you can open the door of this RV. Chu Ling Guang said with a grin. 
It's not good to be careful, I will open it for you to see. Zhang Kaihuan still thinks that the car is Song Yuhang's car. Coming over, he grabbed the key from Song Yuhang's hand and pressed the drive button. There was no movement in the top of Heline Big Ben RV. Wu Ding. A small caravan not far away flashed its lights. Pouch. Seeing this scene, Chu Zinyu couldn't hold back a laugh. How so? Zhang Kaihuan looked dumbfounded and pressed the drive button several times in a row. The Top de Ben RV was quiet, but not far away. Compared with the Top de Ben RV, it was a small van with a constant flashing light. Telling her that this RV belongs to Song Yu Hang. I, my dad bought me a de Ben RV for us to drive by car, but it is just a normal model. I did not expect you to make such a big misunderstanding, but you can rest assured that one day, I will be able to buy one for you. A top class RV. The key was suddenly snatched by Zhang Kaihuan, and Song Yuhang knew it was not good. At this moment, he was embarrassed and helpless. In order not to make Zhang Kaihuan angry, he could only set a goal with a sincere expression on his face. Why didn't you tell me earlier? My friends are waiting to see me take the interior shots. Zhang Kaihuan was so angry that she quickly turned on her phone and deleted the moment's messages sent earlier. It's just that there are hundreds of messages left at this time, and many girlfriends are waiting online. Obviously, it would be a shame if they didn't get the interior pictures. But Zhang Kaihuan had no choice but to quickly delete the moment's information. Otherwise, more and more people will see. The car is just such a little space, even if our family is squatting, it seems we can't squat down. Mother Chu breathed out. In fact, Song Yuhang's million dollar Big Ben RV has a lot of space. Compared with the top level Big Ben RV, it is really just a van. The two are not comparable. You have to rush to shoot the interior scene, we won't bother, let's go first. Chu Zinyu also let out a sigh suffocating the fire in her stomach, now she feels much more refreshed. You stop here, what's the matter with my boyfriend's caravan being a little too small? You have just been divorced by Ye Chen and it is worthless. What qualifications do you have to dislike our caravan? Zhang Kaihuan said angrily. She can bear the ridicule of others, and she will be mad if she is still humiliated by Chu Zinyu at this moment. Although I have not yet been able to afford a top-notch de Ben RV, one day, I will be able to afford it. Besides, Kaihuan and I have a small RV that can be cool at any rate. How about you? I want to go back when I leave the hospital. Not even a car. Song Yuhang said in a puzzled way. Who said we have no cars? Chu Ling Guang said. Then where is your car, we have to see. Who dares to take you back now? Zhang Kaihuan sneered. Don't pay attention to them, let's go. Chu Zinyu whispered, it's a fact that they don't have a car. Sister, our car, just stop there, I will help you pass. How could Chu Ling Guang let his sister be wronged? How can we have a car? Chu Zinyu looked puzzled and lowered her voice, wondering what else Chu Ling Guang wanted to do. Mother Chu and Chu Tianqiang didn't know what Chu Ling Guang wanted to do, but they couldn't help following Chu Ling Guang. Ha ha ha, that tricycle is yours, right? Suddenly, Song Yuhang saw that there was a tricycle parked next to the top of Alda Ben RV, collecting the tattered tricycle. Yeah, these three panoramic rounds are really suitable for you. Zhang Kaihuan also found out. Chu Zinyu also noticed the tricycle here and her complexion was stiff, so she might as well walk back in this car to avoid making people laugh. Mom, you hold your sister, I will open the door of the car. But Chu Ling Guang ignored Zhang Kaihuan and the others. Trot over. Both Zhang Kaihuan and Song Yuhang looked at them, and the two smiled deeply. They thought that the car door that Chu Ling Guang was talking about was to remove the iron frame of the tricycle. Thinking of this, the two of them trembled with laughter. However, Chu Ling Guang was close to the top de Ben RV. The RV immediately sensed the car key in Chu Ling Guang's pocket. The car lights flickered, 
and Chu Ling Guang pulled it gently, and the RV door opened automatically. Because the chassis of the RV is a bit tall. After the car door is opened, a one m step is automatically extended, allowing people to get on the car without much effort. This. This scene made Zhang Kaiyuan and Song Yuhang look petrified. Even Chu Xinyu, Chu's mother, and Chu Tianqiang were stunned. The three of them were ready to go back on the tricycle. They never thought that Chu Lingguang would even open the door of the top-class Big Ben RV. Sister, come up here, let's rush back. Chu Lingguang sat in the cockpit and waved. Sitting on it, Chu Lingguang felt as if he had been the owner of this top-tier Big Ben RV. He knew everything in it. Hey, here it is. Chu Tianqiang was stunned for a while before he replied. Like Chu Zinyu and Chu's mother, he still couldn't figure out how this top off T line Big Ben can be theirs. But at this stage, it was too late for them to think about it, and a few people quickly got on the car. After they came up, Chu Ling Guang drove the car towards the outside of the parking lot. Only when he passed by Zhang Kaiyuan and Song Yu Hang, he stopped deliberately his head stuck out from the car window, and said to Zhang Kaiyuan, I said you want to come up, take a few pictures of the interior of my car, and send it to show it to your friends in your circle of friends. You 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 you. Zhang Kaiyuan was so angry that her entire face was almost distorted. How could this car be yours? Song Yuhang's face was red, and he couldn't believe it. Unexpectedly, you worked hard, and you will be able to afford my world's top luxury Grand Ben RV in the future. Chu Ling Guang patted the car door and said loudly, especially when he said the last few words, he couldn't wait to shout out, making Song Yuhang so angry that he almost fainted. Go! Chu Ling Guang yelled again, drove the top-notch Big Ben luxury car, and went back to move. <laughs> After they left, Zhang Kaiyuan couldn't help but screamed loudly. She was going crazy, how could she think that even if Ye Chen was retired by Ye Chen, Chu Zinyu could easily crush her? Smash everything to me. This was originally what we stored, and there is no way to take it away. I want to see if they really have the face to come back and move things. That little Chu Zinyu, who caused our Chu family so miserable, must not spare them lightly. The eldest mother's family, with a bunch of relatives, is wreaking havoc in Chu Ling Guang's home. They even brought their belongings over, and they want to live in today. By the time Chu Ling Guang and the others came back, the family was in a mess. What are you doing? Chu Tianqiang shouted angrily. This is our house, how can you come in casually? Chu's mother questioned together. Chu Ling Guang helped Chu Chu Xinyu come in, looking at the messy home, he was also furious. Don't these relatives give them a way to survive? This home is now ours. It's messy and there is everywhere. Of course we have to clean it up. And Song Fumei said frankly, and she kicked the crumbling TV on the wall. Tian Jiang, it's not like being a elder brother to embarrass you, your family has hurt our family so badly. If you know you, get out of here. Uncle Chu Tian Rong stood up and said. You are too much. I'm going to ask my mother for comment. Chu Tian was shaking with anger. Don't dream any more, who will take care of you now? Chu Tian Rong disgusted. Trouble marker. Song Fumei put her arms around her chest, and she kept rolling her eyes when she saw that Chu Xinyu was still alive. You'd better pick up all the things on the ground, and put all the broken things together for me, otherwise. Chu Lin Guang Gan said. The home is smashed like this, I can't bear it. Otherwise what? When is it, do you still dare to show prestige in front of me? Chu Ling Guang's words were interrupted by his cousin, Chu Tian Rong's son, Chu Zheng Yang. He quickly stepped forward and pointed at Chu Ling Guang's nose and yelled. Do you think Ye Chen will still support you? In the past, Chu Ling Guang was Ye Chen's younger brother-in-law and he was also respectful to Chu Ling Guang. When he thought of this, Chu Zheng Yang burst into flames. When he hit something just now, he was the most vigorous. 
don't talk to me by pointing to my nose. Chu Ling Guang said with a black face. I'm going to point to your nose today, what can you do to me? Chu Zheng Yang pressed harder step by step, trying to put his finger in Chu Ling Guang's nostril. What? Chu Ling Guang couldn't bear it, pinched Chu Zheng Yang's fingers, Chu Zheng Yang screamed in pain and screamed. Chu Ling Guang what are you doing? Let go of my son's hand. Upon seeing this, Song Fumei and Chu Tianrong were about to rush forward to fight Chu Ling Guang together. If you dare to go forward, I will break his finger. Chu Ling Guang shouted angrily. After inheriting the great return to Tang, his whole body's physique has undergone earth-shaking changes, and with any effort, he can break Chu Zhenjiang's fingers. As soon as he exerted a little force, Chu Zhengyang let out a harsher cry. Don't mess around. Chu Tianrong panicked, pulling Song Fumei not daring to step forward, really afraid that Chu Ling Guang would break his son's finger. Who is Chu Ling Guang? At this time, seven figures broke into Chu Ling Guang's home. These seven people are tall and majestic, all in black suits, and they are very powerful. I'm. Chu Ling Guang was puzzled. Master Su asked us to invite you, please come with us. The leader stepped forward and said. Upon hearing Master Su, Chu Ling Guang immediately understood what was going on. It was obvious that Song Jinyang failed to heal Master Su's granddaughter and told Master Su the truth, so Master Su sent someone to look for him. Sorry, I'm not free now. When Chu Ling Guang glanced at the messy home, he had an idea in his mind. It's up to you. The leader sneered. Master Su's granddaughter was dead, and he could not tolerate any delay. Immediately stepped forward, an eagle claw clasped on Chu Ling Guang's shoulder. He believed that this claw could make Chu Ling Guang obediently obedient. However, Chu Ling Guang is no longer what he used to be. After eating a lot of money, he has an extraordinary physique, and his reaction and offensive power are also extraordinary. Seeing the person in the lead, he dared to greet himself with brute force. Chu Ling Guang was not shy. Backhand attack, hold down the opponent's wrist, lightly exert force, just listen to a click, the wrist dislocated on the spot, go up, five fingers landed on the opponent's shoulder, lightly exerted force. What? The other party knelt on one knee, dripping with cold sweat. Let go of our boss. The six subordinates shouted loudly and all stepped forward. Do not move. The leader hurriedly yelled that he was not a second stunned person. Chu Ling Guang was able to subdue him with one hand in an instant. It can be seen that his strength is far above the seven of them. If he comes, I am afraid that he will not be able to get a good deal and will delay the affairs of the master. Don't worry if you have any conditions, as long as you can cure the granddaughter of Master Su, you will definitely promise you. He said quickly. I want your men to monitor these people, let them pick up the things on the ground, one by one, and put them back to their original places. Clean up here and spotlessly clean. Put it back to me as you smash it. Okay, no problem. The other party breathed a sigh of relief, it was simple. Chu Ling Guang let go of the opponent and walked straight to the door. Let me watch them. If anyone doesn't pick up the thing and put it back in place, it will be discarded for me. The man was named Su Wen, and he gave orders to his hand. Yes. The six people obeyed his words. Give me swiftness, pick up everything on the ground and put it back in place, otherwise it will break your dog legs. If it's not cleaned up within half an hour, don't blame the guy on my hand for not having eyes. In an instant, they all looked at Chu Tianrong, Song Fumei, and others. The fierce aura made Chu Tianrong and the others couldn't help bending down and picking up things on the ground. These people are Master Su's people, and they dare not offend. Mother Chu, Chu Tianqiang, and Chu Zinyu all felt quite relieved when they saw this scene, but they were worried about seeing Chu Ling Guang being taken away by Master Su's people. Under Su Wen's leadership, Chu Ling Guang soon came to the first hospital. Brother Chu, 
you are finally here. Hurry up and save Master Su's granddaughter. Her injuries are not as serious as your sister's. You can definitely save them, right? Seeing Chu Ling Guang and Song Jinyang, who was sweating profusely, his eyes brightened and he hurried forward. Master Su frowned, Chu Ling Guang was so young, is he really as godly as Song Jinyang said? Don't, my sister was rescued by your doctor Song, but it has nothing to do with me. Chu Ling Guang waved his hand quickly to deny. My grandfather Chu, please forgive me. If you don't make a move, Master Su will kill me. When Song Jinyang heard the words, he knelt on the ground and cried bitterly. Master Su, I can save your granddaughter's life, but I have the conditions. Chu Ling Guang ignored Song Jinyang and turned to Master Su. You say. Master Su is very interested in Chu Ling Guang. Chu Xinyu has been divorced by Ye Chen. When Chu Ling Guang saw himself, he was not nervous at all. He was very curious, why should Chu Ling Guang? A person like Song Jinyang, I don't want to see him again in any hospital. Chu Ling Guang said. Yes, I hate people cheating on me the most. Master Su nodded. Hearing this, Song Jinyang slumped directly to the ground knowing that his life was over. But if you can't save Xiaomei, I will be the first to not forgive you. It was not Master Su who said this, but a woman next to Master Su, Su Rushuan. You really don't need it. Su Rushuan asked again. No, thank you for your kindness, we are leaving. Chu Ling Guang waved his hand and took Chu Tianqiang and the others into the car. Su Rushuan frowned even more at this scene. She had already investigated before coming. Chu Ling Guang and his family only had this ancestral house. Now that the ancestral house has been taken back by Mrs. Chu, where can the Chu Ling Guang family go? Everyone can't wait to stay away from them, no one will take in their family. Could it be that they have already rented the house? Su Rushuan thought like this. Then she took out the phone and made a call. Let all hotels in Zhangchuan City pay attention to the fact that without our Su family's order, the Chu Ling Guang family cannot be allowed to stay. Yes. The other party did not dare to neglect. Follow them. Then Su Rushuan got in a car and followed Chu Ling Guang's RV. She wanted to see, where else could Chu Ling Guang go now? Lin Guang, where are we going? Chu Tianqiang asked. The RV is so expensive and full of things, will it damage the equipment inside, how can you explain to your friends then? Mother Chu was worried that her RV would not be able to pay if the house's belongings were broken. Go live in a mansion. Mom, don't worry, even if the car burns, we will be fine, my friend is fine. Chu Ling Guang drove his RV, all the way towards the Century Mansion. Miss. The direction they are going is like Gentaing Villa. Su Rushuan's driver reminded. What are you doing to Gentaing Mountain Villa? Su Rushuan became more confused. She knew that Yunding Mountain Villa, a mansion worth tens of millions, was only sold but not rented, and it was impossible for Chu Ling Guang to live in it. Notify the person in charge of Yunding Mountain Villa and tell him that it is the family of Chu Xinyu who was retired by Ye Chen who are driving the RV. I want to see what Chu Ling Guang has to get into Yunding Mountain Villa. Su Rushuan felt that no matter what Chu Ling Guang was doing, he should stop it first. Chu Ling Guang drove the RV and soon arrived at Yunding Mountain Villa. Under Su Rushuan's arrangement, the manager of Yunding Villa was already waiting at the door, and a group of security guards blocked Chu Ling Guang and the others. Chu Ling Guang stopped the car first, got out of the car and walked towards the security booth. See this scene. Su Rushuan followed and got out of the car, and she walked over with a smile. She knew that only the security guards were yelling, even fists and fists, waiting for Chu Ling Guang. By then, only Su Rushuan would be able to save Chu Ling Guang. She did not forget to remind, Chu Ling Guang, Yunding Villa is not so easy to enter. However, Chu Ling Guang walked straight into the security booth and entered a string of numbers. 
the gate that was originally closed automatically rises and opens. At the same time, the person in charge and the security guards all heard an electronic sound. Welcome the owners of Century Mansion to stay at Gentaing Villa. This. Everyone was dumbfounded. The security and responsible personnel who were going to stop Chu Lingguang were all dumbfounded. What? He has a mansion in Gentaing Villa. Su Rushuan opened her mouth wide when she heard the electronic sound, her eyes full of disbelief. Uh, welcome the owner of Century Mansion to stay at Gentaing Villa. The person in charge in the lead, after a long silence, stepped forward and bowed and smiled. No matter what status Chu Lingguang is, since Chu Lingguang is the owner of Century Mansion and the owner of Gentaing Villa, they can't neglect. Welcome homeowners. The security guard who originally blocked the door shouted in unison under the sign of the leader. You're welcome, you're welcome, you quickly get out of the way, I'm going to drive in. Chu Lingguang thought that these people really came to welcome him, so he couldn't help but waved and smiled. In an instant, the security guards quickly gave up away. Even the security captain specially led four of his men to drive a four-wheeled tour of the electric car, opening the way in front. The RV that greeted Chu Lingguang went in. Miss Su, what were you talking about just now? Chu Lingguang said to Su Rushuan. I... I didn't say anything. Su Rushuan quickly concealed the embarrassment and shock on his face, and shook his head. Then I will go in first, thank you for taking us here all the way. Chu Lingguang smiled and drove the RV into the Yunding Villa. Su Rushuan stood at the door, feeling uncomfortable all over, holding a breath of breath and making nowhere. At the entrance of the Century Mansion, the security captain Wu Daeong smiled respectfully, Mr. Chu, this is your Century Mansion. What's in your car, I'll let the brothers move down. Don't hesitate to tell me if you have any instructions. Thank you Captain Wu. Chu Ling Guang nodded. It should be. Captain Wu immediately shouted, and helped Chu Ling Guang move the furniture and various things in the RV and minivan into the Century Mansion. Lin Guang, who owns such a big house, wouldn't your friend really say anything? Mother Chu looked at this Century Mansion, she only felt dizzy. Can she live in such a good house in her life? Do you want to call your friend again and ask clearly, is it really here? Chu Tianqiang also found it impractical. Dad, Mom, don't worry, I've already told my friends, let's live here. Chu Lingguang just told them that the house is a friend, mainly because they would not believe it after telling the truth. Since Lin Guang can come in, it means that his friend really agreed. Let's live here first, and we will move out when we have other settlements. Chu Xinyu had no doubts. She was just thinking about which friend this friend is. Chu Tianqiang and Mother Chu nodded finally. They were not idle, and moved in with Wu Daeong's people. In the process, they were careful not to be afraid of breaking things, but to ruining the things in the mansion. At that time, I could not explain to Chu Ling Guang's friends. Miss, shall we go back now? The driver saw that Su Rushuan's complexion was not right, and said cautiously. Su Rushuan didn't speak, but at this moment, she saw a sneaky figure. This person is Chu Zheng Yang. Seeing Chu Ling Guang moving things away happily, Chu Zheng Yang always felt that there was a problem. He drove the car behind. He didn't expect to follow, but he followed Yunding Mountain Villa. He was shocked. At the same time, the more I think about it, the more I feel that there is a problem. I'm going back and telling Grandma that this house must have been bought by Chu Ling Guang's family, who embezzled the company's money and secretly bought it. Chu Zheng Yang muttered to himself, then quickly got into the car and turned back. Su Rushuan watched this scene, including hearing Chu Zhenjiang's self-talk. If the Chu family makes trouble, Chu Ling Guang, how can you live in peace? Su Rushuan smiled again. To the driver, go and arrange some manpower, I will be useful later. The driver quickly went to deal with the matter, and Chu Zhengyang quickly returned to Chu's house and met Mrs. Chu. 
At this time, a large group of Chu family were waiting for Chu Zhengyang, and they wanted to figure out where Chu Lingguang and the others had moved, and who would dare to take them in. <laughs>